So we have Emily on Canuck, which is the dark bay. He's been doing some meter jumpers this year, ready to move into meter 10. Emily is an amateur rider that's a working student here at Wingberry. And we have Claire here on Romeo, who's eight years old, Tricaner Cross. He's been showing for two years as a hunter and moving into the jumper ring at a meter and a meter 10. They're warming up on some trot pulls, doing some lengthening and shortening, and we're about to move into some jumping. Now, Claire, just work on his straightness a little bit. And after the pull, step into the canter and make sure he's paying some attention off your leg through the corner. Step into your canter. A little prompter off your leg. Step into the canter now. Good. Canter the pull and then do a transition after. He needs to be more active off your leg, lengthening and shortening so that he pays attention. A little more release over the jump and straighter afterwards. Good. Some outside leg through the corner, Emily, to keep that hip working up. And step into the canter again. Canter the pull. So you trot on the ends and canter the pulls. Sit through the corner, outside leg. And trot on the ends for one or two steps, please. Step through the trot. And step into the canter for the second pull. Canter, Claire. So canter on this long sides, trot on the short sides. Gets the horses paying and really watch the straightness that their head, their shoulder and their hip are straight after the jump. That's their favorite trick coming out of the corner is to make their body crooked. Trot on the short side, trot on the short side, step back into the canter. There we go. One more time and then we'll do our warm up. Straight. Now a little outside leg as you bring him down through the trot. Trot. Canter. Now the secret to getting your trot is to get the transition before the corner so you can step into the canter as you come through the second corner. Trot now. Now canter. Okay, that's good. Then canter to the sunburst. Pulls. Now just a, a, a middle of the road trot, let him pay his own attention over the trot pulls, lighten your hands, let him figure it out, stretch your shoulder tall. Super. Hands a little closer together. Don't worry if he makes a mistake. Stay in the center, M. Now as you come out of the turn, Claire watches straightness that his head, his shoulder and his hips are lined up and he has a tiny compression with a little leg before the first pull. Little release in the air. Hands together, let him figure it out. Little stop and back up and just get him paying a touch of attention. Don't worry, it's fresh. He's, he just has to work through it. Other stuff is off today. So Emily, just work on his rhythm. Balance a little bit. Let him work it out. It'll be a quiet five. And that was six. You needed to lighten your hands and trust him a little bit and not fight him too much, even though he's fresh. This time down through it, just put a little leg on him after the cross rail and encourage him to step up in the five strides and work on his rhythm. Good. Watch the straightness in the right shoulder. Feel your reins. Let the trot be smooth. Again, your hand needed to be a little bit more of a following hand to allow him to come up the line instead of the hand being a little bit stuck and then having to push him up the line. It comes from a little softer elbow so that your hand will follow the horse's rhythm after the jump. So you, you two, Claire, just keep your hand even. After the jump, lighten your elbow. Super, that's enough. We'll do an oxer. Don't fight him, ma'am. He'll make some mistakes. Just feel his pace and encourage him to have an even rhythm. 
There you go. Next Feel week. of his head. I've made that cross rail quite high. So keep him to the center so he doesn't make a mistake. Good. Shoulders even. Claire, you two keep him straight. It's, it's not something I would use with novice riders who can't keep their horse straight. It's a very good exercise for greener horses or more advanced riders, but... Good, so both horses need to work on the rhythm of the five. It's a little bit stuck. They're stalling on landing and then making up too much space. What, the, what these horses are doing are stalling on landing and then having to make too big a move to move up. You want to keep nice, even, f whoops. So now we had the opposite. Don't worry, he's a little fresh. This exercise is quite hard. You want enough leg when you land, but not too much. You want a, a perfectly even five. The test on the rider's eye is to decide how the horse jumps the cross rail and how much to make the five work, either hand and leg, and that was very good. Watch, watch the drift afterwards. Keep his trot a little quieter, Claire. He's just steaming in on those trot pulls. You want him to jump off his hocks. Shoulders back. Stay with him. Okay, now the correction there would have been maybe to come forward on the five. Fix your corner. Fix your corner. You always have another jump in the ring. Always another jump. Hands even, Emily. Hands even. F light feel. Now he's getting the hang of it. Steady before the poles. Put your leg on him a little bit through the poles and he'll have more eat little leg. Watch the straightness because the judge in the hunter ring will really hit you hard for the lack of straightness. And in the jumper ring, you'll have a rail.